If you're looking for the best CPU for gaming or the best workstation CPU, there are only two choices, AMD and Intel. This video covers the never-ending argument of AMD vs Intel desktop CPU. We judge the chips on different criteria. So, let's get started. AMD vs Intel, what's the difference? Although both AMD and Intel are descendants of Fairchild Semiconductor, the main difference between the two companies is that Intel has much stronger revenue streams and higher RN. Budgets. That financial advantage, along with the efficiency and sophistication of Intel's chips, has often left AMD struggling to compete. Having supplied the microprocessors for IBM first personal computer in 1981, Intel cemented its position in the following decades, becoming a multi-billion dollar behemoth and the undisputed CPU market leader. Their dominance has even led to accusations of industry monopolization resulting in hefty fines and lawsuit settlements. AMD managed to innovate and started to compete with Intel despite these challenges, and their CPUs shared enough parallels that both AMD and Intel chips suffered from the meltdown and Spectre hardware vulnerabilities. But by the early 2010s, AMD had fallen so far behind that they were forced back to the drawing board. Recognizing the difficulty of competing with Intel, their new strategy focused on budget chips, where performance aligned with the price. The 2017 launch of AMD's Zen architecture changed the situation drastically, and today that architecture threatens Intel's supremacy more seriously than ever before. While AMD still can't match Intel's single-thread speeds, the number of cores and multi-thread capabilities of its chips means increased clock speeds and greater efficiency. CPU Gaming Performance Intel CPU usually offer better performance and value for gamers than AMD processors. When calculating complex AI in a video game, you need higher instructions per clock, IPC and single-thread clock speed areas where Intel shines. AMD chip's core architecture is generally more suited to multitasking workloads rather than high-performance gaming. But, AMD chips are generally more flexible than their Intel counterparts when it comes to overclocking. So if you're into boosting your CPU to squeeze out extra processing power to run the latest and most demanding games, AMD is an excellent choice. Office work, productivity, content creation, multimedia. When it comes to video editing and other high-intensity multimedia applications, the more cores, the better. AMD highest end chip currently offers incredible content creation and productivity performance by splitting up tasks across several powerful cores. When you're video editing, both audio and video have to be encoded simultaneously. If one core does both, it has to keep switching between the two, which slows the export down considerably. By splitting up the work across multiple cores and multiple threads, the complex work of a 3D model render can be completed much more efficiently. But even if you're not dealing with advanced video editing software, you still may be switching between programs quite a bit, especially if you're using your PC to run other content creation or productivity tools. AMD has also developed a reputation for producing the most energy-efficient CPU on the market. AMD vs. Intel Laptop Performance Intel still controls the laptop CPU market, and most laptops come equipped with Intel processors. But AMD has begun to challenge Intel's dominance here too. Both companies offer great laptop CPU with similar performance levels. The best processor for your new laptop may end up coming from either company, and it's fairly easy to get a laptop with their latest generation of CPU. Everyday users are fine with mid-level Intel or AMD CPU, for example. The IFIVs and Ryzen 5s which will suit anyone who doesn't use demanding or specialist software. Those who live their lives in a video editing suite or Assassin's Creed, Valhalla would do well to go for Ryzen 7 or Icevent. AMD vs Intel, which is better overall? In our view, Intel makes the best CPU for overall everyday use. High-end workstations usually perform a bit better with AMD thanks to their core counts. Otherwise, Intel probably has the best chip for you. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.